everybody, today is day 66 and we got introduced to week 14 all about testing. The first day today is about introduction to automated testing. We talked about uh, unit tests, integration tests, and uh, UI tests. Um, so we're going to use Jess for all our testing purposes, um, but we're only going to be learning unit and integration testing, unfortunately. We're not going to be learning UI tests, but that's all right. Um, we can always learn that on our own. And today's project was just going through uh, a ton of different functions. I think almost, uh, I want to say 40 or 50 functions to write different tests for them. And uh, if the tests don't work out, uh, you also have to cover edge cases, cases where the value isn't provided or uh, the value is um, not what it is expected to be. And uh, it wasn't too difficult for the basic cases, but you really has you thinking about um, all the edge cases. And uh, so it's uh, been a pretty good day, and I um, look forward to using the same project tomorrow. We're going to be working with arrays and objects. Today it was just basic functions and multiple arguments. So I will show you guys more tomorrow. Thanks. Hey everyone, today is day 67, and we covered more of testing with Jess. And we covered um, three ways to test asynchronous code in Jess, mainly to use the uh, promises method or the async await method, which are two of the most common. And then the last one is using a callback that's the least common. And basically, you just taking back the code and then just um, testing it. So the same as we've been doing yesterday. And another thing we learned today was called test-driven development, which is developing your tests even before you start writing your uh, application code. And there are some benefits, but you shouldn't use it in all cases, specifically like trivial functions that you already know how to write. And today's homework covered objects and arrays, um, testing with those. So you can imagine it's a little bit more advanced with different loops and different um, array and object structures. So that's it for today, and tomorrow I think we're going into React testing, so maybe we're using Enzyme, it's something I've heard about. And uh, testing is not bad overall, it's just a little bit tedious at times, and there's so many directions that you can go because um, you can test pretty much for every situation, which is, you know, uh, it's a deep rabbit hole, but uh, that's it for today, and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Everyone, we're on day 68 here, and uh, some of the things we learned about were testing React components using Enzyme, and also snapshot snapshot testing. And uh, for the most part, Enzyme was a little bit more difficult because there's just so many ways that your components can have different behaviors. So like different props that are passed through, different things in state, different attributes on the components itself. Um, so it was a little bit more difficult and I think it's going to take a little bit amount of time to master the um, enzyme as well. Um, and then snapshot testing is pretty cool where it would just take a snapshot of your component. So if there's something that changes, it will notify you of that. And it's so painless to set up, um, you know, compared to something like Jess or enzyme. Um, still having some problems. Um, I was able to finish homework, but trying to get more mastery of this topic, so I need to spend more time on it, unfortunately. Uh, testing is not easy for me because it's kind of freeform, and I have to f like figure out some kind of logic to test uh, certain things, so uh, it takes a certain amount of creativity, I like to say. Hey everyone, today is day 69, and we cover testing web APIs, and... We use something new called SuperTest. Um, it's a package designed specifically to test Node API routes. <clears throat> it's pretty easy to use for the most part, um, much easier than Enzyme, in my opinion, which tests uh, React components. And um, today's homework was basically just making something for the create and the post route in terms of tests. So you just have to run, you just have to make uh, two tests with uh, the new tool that we learned. And uh, it wasn't too difficult in general. Um, it was just me trying to go a little bit further and uh, had a little bit of a problem, but um, I understand this most, 
for the most part. And uh, so tomorrow's going to be the sprint challenge, and it's going to be, I guess, just covering testing. So should be a good one. Catch you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, today is day 70, and we just finished our sprint challenge for the testing week. And today's sprint was basically just dealing with routes and just double checking if the routes uh, return what they're supposed to. And the theme of today was to work with uh, games. So we can uh, set up a database if we so choose. Um, personally, I did not. I just set up uh, an array of uh, different objects with different games. And what you have to do is just basically check if the route to um, get all the games work and to post new games work okay. And there's certain criteria that you have to do, like make sure it returns a, like code you know, 201 if it's created successfully or you know 404 if it isn't found, that sort of thing. And then I also got to the stretch goals today, which was just to um, work more with a specific game by itself. So, you know, returning the ID or deleting that specific game or something like that. Overall, it's been a good week. Um, I feel like there's so much more to testing. Um, especially with Jess, Enzyme, and Super Tests. Um, so I'm, I'm looking for more resources to pick it up because I know how valuable it is and important it is. Um, and another opinion I have is that uh, TDD or Test Driven Development is not really a favorite of mine, but I can see how it's useful. But personally, I, I'm so used to just working with components first and then testing afterwards. But um, they both have uh, each uh, advantages and disadvantages. So that's going to close it up for this week for testing. And uh, I'm glad to be pretty much done with the back end. Um, next week we have just the back end project. It's the week long project. And uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. And uh, after that we're going to kick off and go to uh, computer science. So that should be interesting. Um, it's been already 14 weeks. I can't even imagine that. But... I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, sorry I got this video out a little bit late. Um, I've just uh, been busy. So uh, see you guys on Monday.